we're talking about a, a very unusual, very interesting condition. You probably haven't heard of it. I certainly haven't. It only affects 1% of the population, which is probably why we haven't heard of it. Uh, but for our next guest, uh, it's something that literally she said has been ruining her life. Yeah, she's Claire Roberts, or Claire Rhodes, forgive me, Claire. And uh, you have got this um, disorder known as fish odour syndrome, yeah. really. But you wouldn't say that what you smell of is fish odour. Really, that's that's the generic term for it. Yeah. And we've got Dr. Chris here this morning uh, to talk about this because have you had to live with this all your life? No, I only noticed it when I was about 22. Mm -hmm. um, but it's not just like fish, there's different smells on different people. Yeah. Now, this morning, do you feel that you are smelling this morning? Well, I don't actually know. Sometimes mm -hmm. I don't know. Mm -hmm. But do you think you do all the I time? I think I do all the time. Mm -hmm. It's interesting because I, I came in and met you and your husband Stephen in the dressing room this morning and I am very smell sensitive, aren't I, Eamon? I couldn't smell a thing and I, I said to you, and I'm really not just saying this, Claire, mm -hmm. to make you feel better, I couldn't smell a thing. Well, I yeah, must be that, doing something right then. <laughs> yeah, but that, that's not the point. The point is you know what happens and whenever yeah, it yeah. happens, it could happen at any time to you and yeah. it causes you embarrassment. Yeah. Now, does this come from your mouth, from your underarm, from your pores? Where is it coming from? Well, from my breath and it feels like it's coming out of my paws, my sweat and my urine. Mm -hmm. And is it worse at certain times? Dep yeah, certain times of the month on a period. Um, when I take the pill, I don't take the pill anymore. When I eat different foods, meats, mm. fish, and when you say you don't think yours is a fishy smell, mm -hmm. how would you describe your smell? Like pooey, garbage. Really? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Just from what I've been told of people, not I can't smell it myself. So it makes you really conscious, it makes you really aware naturally enough, and does it inhibit what you do socially? <laughs> yeah, I won't go out anymore. Really? When you At say all. go out, you mean you're talking about you're talking about socialising, going to the cinema, or are you just talking about going to the shops and Well I do so I do some things but it stops me doing loads of things really. I don't I only go out places if I know I'm gonna be outside. Yes. And you said but people have commented, you have heard yeah. people what sort of things have they said? Just nasty you? comments. Have you you know, she's disgusting. Oh, I know. Yeah. I, I, it's, yeah. it, we're so pleased that you're talking about this because, you know, it's something that many of us haven't heard about. And I know you were saying to me earlier, you know, if it just helps one person try and yeah. get diagnosed and to and to know that they're not alone, you, you well, pull Dr. yourself Chris, together the, for a the bit. Yeah. The distress um, from Claire there is that she's no control over this. If she had control over this, she'd be doing something. She'd be spraying herself with something. She'd be washing, she'd be taking tablets, whatever. Yeah. Tell us more about yeah. it. But as Ruth said, I mean, when I met Claire this morning, I gave her a hug and there's no smell at all coming from me. I know this is a stressful situation. Stress can make it worse, but you know, th there is no smell, right? right? But the thing is, we call it fish odour syndrome and it's an inability of the body to break down a substance called trimethylamine. Now that is um, the, 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 the substance that is present in fish and when fish go off, get rotten, it's the trimethylamine that you're smelling. And because they can't break it down into an odourless mm -hmm. compound, uh, they, they develop this fish odour, severe body odour. Uh, you know, it, it, it's in the breath, it's in the urine, it's in sweat, it's in genital secretions, etc. And the, um, Thank you. But w w what's, what Claire is doing, I mean, you know, she's actually helping herself a lot because she's watching a diet. You have to avoid foods that contain choline. Now, just to give you an example of, we've got some foods here. Eggs, liver, kidney, peas, beans, peanuts, soya products, Brussels sprouts, <laughs> broccoli, cabbage, cauliflower. And they've These got what, Chris? Choline. 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 Yeah, I mean, you, you, you wouldn't see it on the label, but you, you know, you've learnt, haven't you, which yeah. foods contain choline yeah. and therefore avoid them. Some milk that comes from cows that are fed on wheat. Yeah, semi skin milk's worst, is it? Yeah. 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 And have you felt, since you've tra tra changed your diet, has that helped? Do you think It does help, yeah, I've got to control it. Yeah. Mm. Cut out most things, really. I mean, there's, there's, there's no cure, but what, what Claire's also doing to help herself, um, the various steps you can take. Um, she's actually taking a tablet called uh, charcoal, activated charcoal. Which absorbs, uh, smells It's charcoal, like a body odoriser, in it. internal. It absorbs, yeah. you know, gases and smells. Yeah. And there's uh, another one which is called... 
uh, copper chlorophyllin, which she's found yeah. out about, uh, and that also can help to reduce this. Uh, other tricks... And would you see those making a difference? Have you... They do a little bit, but it doesn't work on everybody. Yes. No, but right. there are some other ones as well that I've just started called Champex. Mm -hmm. um, I think they're a mushroom based. Have you yeah. met anybody else with this syndrome? No. Or is there a help yeah, group? Yeah, there's a forum yeah. that I go on. There's, there's a few people, but not many. But it helps to talk to other people. It does, yeah. yeah you can swap ideas <laughs> yeah. and tablets and you know, information. And she also takes um, short courses of different antibiotics which affect the bacteria in the intestine. Yeah. And even a laxative can stimulate the bowel so the bacteria aren't there creating this. You know, and what about them. putting the good, is it probiotics, putting yeah. that yeah. back in? After so I took the antibiotics, I take the, probi the probiotics to um, promote the good bacteria in your yes. stomach. Can I just ask, Chris, you know, we were saying earlier that your, your, I couldn't smell anything. I'm not saying you don't smell, because obviously you wouldn't be here, but mm. today I couldn't. Your husband says he, he can't smell no, it No, I think he must become accustomed to it. Which is a good <laughs> job, it, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Well, you wouldn't have had all those children, <laughs> would you? Could it be that Claire, that it, it becomes so psychological eventually, I'm not saying it doesn't exist, the syndrome, that, that she thinks she smells more than she does? Well, obviously, I mean, you know, she's had this quite a long time, and obviously it's distressing for her. And, uh, you know, do you ask people, do you smell? Of course you don't. Mm -hmm. And your self-esteem's affected, isolation. I mean, patients have been suicidal with this condition, you know. But, you know, you, you, you there are lots of things you can do out there. And we've got information on our website for, for mm. people to, to yeah. check out. And what um, about any kind of, of counselling to help your self-esteem? Have you tried anything like that? Yeah, they've just put me in contact with a counsellor now to, so I can teach how to behave, behaviour therapy. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. To, but I don't know if it'll work. <laughs> I've also paid for hypnotherapy for myself. And you've tried that already? Yeah, yeah. And any different? It did in a way, but it didn't help my sleeping. Sometimes I can't sleep for worrying if I've got to go somewhere. Yeah. It's it, very it, debilitating, it, isn't it? Yes, it so is. Have, have you heard about using soaps that are slightly acidic? No. Well, um, this trimethylamine is very alkaline, and mm. so it's coming out of your skin pores. Well, if you get um, a soap that's slightly acidic, it's actually 5.5 .5 to 6.5 pH. Right. That can actually neutralise some of the trimethylamine. Mm. So, you know, there, there, there are lots of little things that you could be putting together mm. as a jigsaw, you know, I'll to help that. yourself. And then I mentioned to you earlier riboflavin, vitamin B2, B2 yeah. yeah, which may help as well. And Chris, what, what sort of percentage of the population will suffer? From this, well, the, the figures are like 1%, but some of the experts are saying, you know, there are so many out there maybe undiagnosed. Yeah. They might just have mild fish odour syndrome or just think it's bad yes. B.O. and they don't know it's fish odour syndrome. Well, uh, That's why you want we'll to talk find about this yeah, out. wasn't it? Yeah, we'll find this out today through you talking, Claire, mm. and uh, you, you'll see there'll probably be a lot of comfort to you and uh, people who uh, ha deal with this in their way. But thank you very much indeed. Uh, for coming in discussing it. Chris, thanks for your advice as well. More information on this, on what is called, remember, fish odour syndrome, though the, the smell isn't necessarily fish. Mm. Uh, you can go to our website, which is itv.com forward slash this morning. Thank you.